This is just a quick update because I know many of you are eager for an update after the devastating volcanic eruptions and tsunami in Tonga. Now, we're all safe and sound aboard Curiosity here at Great Barrier in New Zealand. We did not hear or feel the eruptions, but we also had Cyclone Cody sitting right next to us, so we already had a lot of wind, wave, and current action going on. Why geology and weather should match really isn't hard to understand. Capacitance between earth and sky are, are responsible for that, forcing charge to diffuse through each layer in mirror image. And that should suffice for an answer if our atmosphere were considered a plasma. Charged particles responding to earth's spherical capacitance would make sense. But earth's atmosphere isn't considered a plasma. Neither is Jupiter's for that matter. Where are all the charge carriers? The answer isn't in particle physics. It's in the molecule of water. Water is the charge carrier, the electric wires of the circuit. Water is bipolar and so adopts polarity in an electric field. 